Hi, everybody. Uh, when you succeed, we succeed. This is a mantra that we use across Epic that highlights our commitment to developer success. And this is what it's all about for us across Unreal Engine, UEFN, Epic Online Services, and the Epic Game Store. I'm Steve Allison, and I'm here to give you an update on EGS and what we're doing for developers. The Epic Game Store reaches a huge global audience that continues to grow and should be considered essential in the launch plans of every game coming to PC. Let's take a look at where we're at. We ended 2023 with 270 million PC accounts, peak monthly active users of 75 million, and player spending of over $950 million. We have great programs for our players, like our free games program and Epic Rewards. Last year, our users had the opportunity to claim 80 games worth over $2,000 that were free to keep forever. And Epic Rewards is a first-of-its-kind PC Store loyalty program that gives users 5% back on all eligible purchases. Players can use their Epic Rewards at their discretion on future purchases, and this means they have more spending power to buy your content. But since we're at GDC, I want to focus on how we're maximizing developer success. We launched the Epic Game Store in 2018 with an industry-leading 88-12 revenue share, with 88% of all revenue going back to developers on every sale. Recently, we've added more opportunities to increase developer revenue share. On games with in-app purchases, you have the option to use your own payment processing services and take 100% of the revenue for all those transactions. This past October, we launched two new opt-in programs that give developers additional ways to maximize their financial success and take home 100% of net revenue during the first six months after their game or app's release. Epic First Run is an ongoing opt-in exclusivity program for new releases, and now on Epic is a limited time back catalog incentive program. The combination of our base 8812 revenue share plus these new programs give you a menu to build go-to-market strategies that can maximize your financial results. And don't forget, Unreal Engine developers with royalty-based agreements pay no Unreal Engine royalties on all sales made on the Epic Games Store. Kim mentioned earlier that Epic was fighting the good fight on behalf of all of us, and let's talk about that for a second. For the past few years, Epic has tirelessly been fighting gatekeepers on mobile platforms to allow for distribution that is more fair, more open, and built for how we need to run our businesses today. And this battle is not over yet. However, we have made enough progress, and I am here today to make an announcement that we're super pumped about, and that is that we are hard at work on the Epic Games Store for mobile, targeting the launch on iOS and Android by the end of this year. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that. Um, we're excited to be leading the charge in bringing Fortnite back to mobile, along with a selection of third-party partners who have expressed interest in joining us when we launch. With our expansion into mobile platforms, EGS will become the first ever game-focused, multi-platform store that will work across Android, iOS, PC, and Mac, anchored by our players' Epic accounts. Everything I talked about today, both player and developer programs, will be available when the mobile stores expand, and that will also launch with self-publishing tools that will make it easy for our mobile developers to release their apps. To learn more about our plans for EGS, we invite you to join us this afternoon at 3.30 over at Moscone. And now to share some incredible UAFN updates, here's Sax Person. <laughs> 